A-I-T-A. Am I the a-hole for despising my mentally handicapped sister? The title makes me sound horrible but hear me out. My sister is severely autistic. She requires attention almost 24-7 and cannot be left alone. She is nonverbal and cannot take care of herself at all. Despite the fact that she is only 12, she is extremely destructive and violent, and destroys anything she gets her hands on. I hate her. That should be wrong to say, but it doesn't feel like it. I was only 6 years old when she was born, and since then I've never solely had my parents' attention. Even since, I can remember the world has revolved around her. I was moved out of my room into the basement at 7, because she needed to be in the room next to my parents. All of my toys as a child were destroyed by her, and my parents simply ignored me when I complained. Even when I was 14, and she destroyed a Mac my school gave me I was in the wrong. Along with this I am expected to take care of her, and drop everything I do for her. I can never make plans with friend, because my parents expect me to be there if they need me to take care of her. Even when I do somehow get time to myself, I am required to leave if they need me. If I do not then I am punished. The recent example of this is when I went to see the new Spider-Man movie, and was grounded because I turned my phone off in the theater. It seems as if I am nothing more than a slave to them, and anything involving her simply overshadows me. This last week, I was chosen to give a speech at a school event. I was so exited and my parents promised to be there, but they never showed and claimed it was because of my sister. Anytime anything like this happens for me they are too busy with her. I've held this in for so long and it finally spilled out today. While talking about colleges with my father, he joked that I should get a degree that pays well, so when they're gone I can take care of my sister. I don't know why, but this caused me to break down. I cried and screamed about how it always about her. I'm nothing more than a caretaker to them, that they always make it about her, and that I'm expected to be her slave for the rest of my life. I've locked myself in my room since then, and my parents have not come to check on me. Am I the a-hole here? And T.A. Not the a-hole. These are perfectly legitimate and understandable feelings. You have done nothing to sign up for taking care of another human being, it's not like she's your kid, and that was wrong of your dad to joke about, because it sounds like he probably is really thinking along those lines. Be honest with your parents about how you feel, make clear that it's insane that you're expected to be a full-time babysitter, grounded for no phone in a theater. That's frocking bull's height. Hey, autistic guy here, can confirm that OP is NTA here, I can totally get this situation from OP, I know this is taboo, but we aren't pets and we shouldn't just be thrown around like, okay you'll take care of him now, no, if you don't want to take care of us, fine, but don't throw us in someone's hands without even asking us first. Our friendships and life is based around trust, it takes time to build up a friendship slash relationship in general with people for us, more than anyone else does. I just hate all of the taboo out there in the world about us autists, it just shouldn't even be taboo. I'm sorry for the rant, I just felt like I wanted to clear things up, since I've seen more and more posts on all kinds of subreddits noticing the hate towards us, we're kind people, well I am an internet troll, so please exclude me lol, and except for some bad rotten apples of course, please don't see us as an item, or an entity that's just there, we need care, but we don't need to get treated differently, and we definitely don't need attention 24-7. Edit. Obviously most do need attention 24-7 due to 24-7 impulsive behavior, and constantios meltdowns, it sucks, but it's needed, the attention, but not forced attention like what happens to OP. I'm also getting way too much attention in my family, and I'm obviously noticing it annoys some of my other family members slash siblings. I keep saying it to my parent but she just won't listen to it lol. That's also a taboo, we can see others emotions slash feelings, we do understand emotions slash feelings slash troubles, we're just having a hard time with it that is all. 
Argyle STF you all right? Enough blabbering. Conclusion. OP should not be expected to be able to take care for someone severely autistic out of nowhere and is not the a-hole. But, we're talking about someone with severe autism so like, ignore, half of what I just said. I really really hope mostly parents are reading this and will learn from this, please. I really started some controversy here, I'm sorry. Honestly, I agree and I understand OPS feelings. I would probably have cracked long before them, if I was in the same situation. But it seems like your parents are the a-holes, not your sister. They need to stop treating your little sister like a pet, and you like her caretaker. They are grossly mishandling the situation. What a shame. Anti A. Not the a-hole. Kid, I hope you go to college far away from home. Later in life, make sure your parents understand that you won't be taking responsibility, so they better have care and funding in place. Anti A. I am a sibling of a person with a disability. My brother was not supposed to do much due to his disability. We have been fortunate that in his 30s, he is able to care for his own need with support from the local regional group. I am also a SPED teacher. I've worked in mod slash severe with plenty of students who are nonverbal with low cognitive ability, doesn't matter the disability. If they cannot communicate needs or take care of themselves independently in some regard then they need support 24-7. I had the same frustrations as you. I resorted to cutting, withholding food, and made the worst self mixtape in head about how I deserved to be second best. I felt like a slave like you and eventually I let it go, because I love my brother and it is not his fault that he is that way, and that my parents can't hang. My dad left for years at a time so I was the second parent, I forgave him too. I was trained from the time I was 10 to care for my brother, he's about 8 years younger. Our parents have died in the past 2 years, and I am in charge. The key secret I can tell you about how I am a relatively sane, and successful adult is, make a plan now. I made a plan about how I wanted my like to look starting in 8th grade, and I followed through. I took the SATs, got grants, and scholarships, went to school far away and had jobs on and off campus. It was the Clinton era, so they gave money if you have a single family income. Get a loan, research, and do it. Follow through, and stay on track because you are in charge of you. If you ever want advice or to rant you can PM me. I also advise counseling, I really hurt myself and took on lots of guilt. You don't need that. Someone should say none of this is your fault, I can be that person because it is the truth. I'm here if needed. And TA. 1. If you can, go to college far away. Time away and on your own to be just you will be good for you. 2. Because I think your dad was only half joking, at some time you will want to have a conversation, that they need to plan for the care of your sister in the future. And make it clear that it is not you, especially if you feel the same way as you do now. 3. I'm really sorry your parents didn't handle this better, and I hope that one day your anger moves away from your sister. Auntie A. But this is a parent problem, not a sister problem. I am a parent of one autistic child, and one neurotypical child, and I will tell you that, we would never treat our auntie child like his role is to caretake his sister. If she ruins his stuff, we replace it. We have also given him some separate space, with a lock, so that we can prevent her getting into his stuff. Now if he leaves it out that's another story, but we try our best. Are there ways in which having a sister with a disability still might suck for him? Of course. We're a family and what impacts one tends to impact us all. But we try to mitigate that, and at least sympathize when we can't. We also make sure that he benefits in whatever ways we can. Like the fact that he has never had to wait in a long line at an amusement park, because of her skip the line pass. It sounds like you parents haven't done any of this, and have, 
in fact made everything worse for you. That is not your sister's fault. She can't help who she is, and at only 12, she is still learning and growing, and you may still have a great relationship once you are both adults. Your parents, on the other hand, should have done better by you. The brunt of your anger belongs on them. Auntie A. I am going to tell you something that I hope you will think about and I will gladly take any down votes. Your sister will always come first and you will always be expected to be the caretaker. You will need to break free of this as soon as you can. Move to another state or country after college. For as long as you will be in their house, it will be their rules and they will continue forcing the caretaking down your throat. You are not her caretaker, they are, and they need to be solemnly responsible for her care, so you can work on your life while you are young. Life comes at you fast, you only have around 85 to 90 summers on average. I understand where you are coming from though, because whenever your sister did something bad, it got blamed on her autism as a get out of trouble free card. She can't help it, she has autism, she doesn't know what she is doing, she has autism, you need to watch your stuff so she doesn't get to it because, she has autism while it is their absolute lack of responsibility, discipline, and routine that allowed this behavior. This legitimately terrifies me. I'm so worried I'll have a kid like this and it'll ruin my life. I know that probably seems offensive, but I just don't think I could cope with what you've described. Your sister is still young, and hopefully when she's older she'll calm down, or your parents can find resources to help deal with her behavior. I'm so sorry you've had to go through that OP, that's a really challenging childhood. I can't even imagine how strong of a person you must be for going through that. 